Now, I understand that there are fans of this show. I get it. And I am well aware of the concept that you are allowed to like what you want to like. Obviously, I get that. And I don't want to be that that guy of, you stop liking what I don't like. You're not allowed to like the Mandalorian because I don't like it. That that's not what I that's not what I'm trying to do. I want to try to explain and talk about the fact that there are fundamental problems to this show and I don't understand why those of you who watch this show don't care. Like you have, it, it almost seems like you have to like this show and I don't understand why. And the reason I don't understand why is because there are a lot of people who are fans of The Mandalorian who had absolutely no problem tearing apart the Star Wars movies talking about all the problems and issues they had with the movies. So it's not like the Star Wars property is some sacred cow that nobody is going to challenge and tear apart. So I don't understand why the Mandalorian seems to be exempt from this. Now, most of you are probably going, well, that's because there is no problem with the TV show. And the point of this video is, I beg to differ, and that there are. Now, one of the main problems with the show is, I make fun, I've made videos on each episode of The Mandalorian talking about and pointing out and laughing at all the stupid in the show. But I'm, I'm not going to talk about that here. I'm not going to bother because I've already made videos and you know how YouTube works. So if you're interested in watching it, you know how YouTube works. And to, to extend an olive branch, okay, I'll even establish th th those are things that I consider stupid, okay? Uh, even if we were to take out the fact that all the things that I consider stupid out of the show that you as fans don't consider stupid, even if we were to eliminate that, there is still a basic fundamental problem with this show. And that is, it has no plot. It has no story. It has no story arc. It has no direction. It has no idea where it's going. Now, a lot of you are saying, uh, hello, the show is quite obvious. It's about the Mandalorian protecting baby Yoda. And it's like, you know what? You're right. And if that's what the show was, and that was its base premise, and that's all it was about, then this fine. But the problem is, that's not what the show is about. Because in the first two episodes... It establishes the very reason Baby Yoda being in the show is supposed to be the story. That's supposed to be the plot. The client works for somebody who wanted Baby Yoda to extract whatever it was out of Baby Yoda. Well, what did they extract? What are they using it for? What are they doing with it? We're already in episode 5 of an 8 episode season and this show hasn't even bothered talking about it, discussing it, teasing it, covering it, anything. Like episode 6 is going to be uh, the Mandalorian helping some mercenaries on a mission. Episode 7 is going to be a, uh, some old rival wants to make peace with the Mandalorian. This season is, is an absolute wash on the actual story arc they established in episode one. In episode one and two. And what, why are they allowed to do that and you guys don't have a problem? Like, six of the, six of the episodes in season one is pretty much filler episodes that don't even discuss what's supposed to be the overarching story of the show. And 
you guys are, and, and, and nobody seems to have, and nobody seems to be willing to go, uh, hello, Disney, can we like talk about the guys that wanted to, that want to kill baby Yoda, that have the, that, that extracted whatever it was, what are they doing with it, what's going on, no, you seem to be absolutely content with the Mandalorian just going from planet to planet, going on missions, and never even talking about who, you know, extracted whatever they got from Baby Yoda, or even what they did with it, or what's going on. And I don't understand why. Like, why can't you call out this show for ignoring what was supposed to be the plot of the show? The other problem with this show is what what what's the Mandalorian's plan? He he doesn't have one. <clears throat> and you're going, uh, yes he is. It's protecting baby Yoda. And it's like, okay, but how? Like, at the end of episode like in episode four, he was more than ready and willing to leave baby Yoda on a planet because he seemed happy there in that village. It, if it wasn't for the fact that five minutes after he had he made this stupid ass plan that a bounty hunter showed up and almost killed baby Yoda to reveal how stupid his plan was, it was like, oh yeah, that's right. He's got a tracker. There's bounty hunters trying to kill him. Leaving him on this planet is a stupid ass idea. And he ends up deciding I'm gonna have to bring him with him and protect him. And it's like, okay, that's the story idea. That's the story arc. He's protecting baby Yoda. But it's just nothing but episode after episode of him just wandering on planet to planet. I, at the very least, he has, have his goal be try to figure out how to get rid of However, the tracking device works on Baby Yoda because we don't know how the tracker works. We don't know how the tracking device works. Neither does the show. Like, why can't uh, bo uh, the Mandalorian's overall goal right now be to try to figure out how to free Baby Yoda from the tracking fobs? Like, at least have that. At least have it that uh, the Mandalorian is trying to is going to try and deal with wh whoever wants to have Baby Yoda dead and stop it at the source. You kill the guy who wants to kill Baby Yoda. There's no bounty. The bounty hunters aren't going to go after Baby Yoda anymore. A at least do that. This show isn't even giving a goal to even stop the bounty hunters from going after or being able to go after baby Yoda because the show constantly needs bounty hunters to keep going after baby Yoda so that the Mandalorian can keep having adventures from planet to planet like is there any particular reason you're not allowed to go that doesn't work that's not acceptable that's lazy story writing you guys had no problem talking about all the lazy story writing in the Star Wars movies. Why can't that apply to this show? The other aspect is, where the hell is he going? Like, at the end of episode 4, where was he going? Like, at, in episode 5, he ends up getting waylaid by the bounty hunter and has to land on Tatooine or Paris ship. And then at the end of it, he's flying off. Where? Like, what's his plan? Is, is it so hard? Is it too much to ask the show to let the audience in on where he's going? Oh, wait. The show has no idea where he's going. Because otherwise, it would be part of the story. Like, there's no reason not to establish and tell the audience that he has a plan. Remember when purple-haired girl 
didn't tell Poe her plan and all of you guys were absolutely pissed and called out how stupid it was? Well, guess what? The show is not establishing what the Mandalorian's plan is. Why can't you guys call out the show of why can't you have the Mandalorian have a plan? Why can't we as an audience know what that plan is? Because as far as I can tell, he doesn't, he, you're not going to know until season two. Until, when you, oh, I don't know, have to renew your Disney Plus subscription for the full price. Like, can we not call out how money-grubbing greedy and, and blatant Disney Plus is on this? Like, you have no problem, you know, like again, those of you who are fans of this show who have no problem calling out the movies and Disney for all the stupid ass, like, they're, they buy out uh, movie uh, seats to help inflate the, the 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 popularity of a TV show of the of their of the movies, yet they're purposely making a show with episodes with ninety percent filler, so that you'll have to renew your subscription for another month, so or another year, so that you can find out what happens in season two. But that's okay. They're Disney Plus can do that, and that's not a problem. That's not something that should be called out. I, it's not so much the problems of the show. It's this inability of you fans for just saying, Disney's allowed to do this, and you don't have a problem? Like, are you that? The closest I've got to an explanation was that, you fans are so desperate for something remotely half decent that you are giving this show all the leeway it you 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 you're giving it, and I don't understand why. What we've already the clone the Clone Wars animated show was well done. Okay, it was enjoyable. You can do a good. Star Wars TV show. So, why can't you expect a good Star Wars TV show from Disney Plus? Why do they get to give a substandard show and it's okay? I I I know no one's got watching this video. I know people who are fans of this show aren't haven't gotten anywhere this far, but on the odd chance that you are a fan of this show and you hated the Star Wars movies why do you have to like this show so much why do you have to defend this show I it's an honest serious question okay you are so able and willing to trash the movies and calling them out for the garbage that they were Especially if the, you know, both of them, the, the Force Awakens and the Last Jedi. I, I don't understand why you can't do that with the TV show. I, because by not doing it, you, you, you're pretty much pointing out that you're either, again, you're either idiots for not caring how stupid this show is, or you're shills. You're, you're actual shills for this, for Disney. Which, I don't know why you have to be, because it's not like Disney needs another shell. It, again, on the odd chance that those of you who are fans of this show and hated the Star Wars movies, explain to me why this show gets a pass. I really don't understand why. Okay? Because it's a subpar, pathetic show that is nothing more than designed to like, with uh, <clears throat> sorry uh, Stranger Things okay it was meant to be a one season show it had a it had an established ending it, it 
it wasn't meant to go. It wasn't meant to drag on like Game of Thrones. Okay, this show is literally meant to milk you as an audience for as long as possible, and it boggles my mind that you're okay with this and you don't have a problem uh, anyway I've pretty much I'm getting into rambling territory which I am off to, you know to do so uh, I'm sorry there are fundamental problems to this show other than the stupid and I don't understand why you guys don't have a problem with it anyway that's it for me I'm out of here. I'm pretty much anticipating episode six and the Witcher series. Uh, I'm out of here. See ya.